One second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now you are. Thirsty and 30. Hello, hello, and welcome to episode four of Thirsty and 30, the podcast that's fun, informative, and truly the blind leading the blind in the love space. Love space. Our goal is to navigate and translate modern love with all its complications and quirks so you can make saner decisions. I'm Shari, your favorite non-expert on modern love. And Hi, Shari. And Hi, Folk tonight. Hi, Chris. Um, I think a few people are dribbling in, but mm -hmm. I'm Bea, the other non-expert here. And really, we're your weekly duo attempting to make you laugh, relax with us on a Wednesday night and discuss modern love and the mess that it is. It is messy, right? So, mm -hmm. Shari, what, what are you drinking there? I'm a consistent girl. Whiskey, as <laughs> usual. How about you? Uh, I have decided it's soda water and white wine because I tend to drink too much during these episodes. So tone it down. Tone it down with soda water. So Bea, should we say hello to our viewers? Shout out to Carla, um, Jess, the Torpe Milner. This episode is for you. Um, <laughs> Isabel, and Anne, Anne, Mark, and um, Easy Peasy. Your turn. <laughs> Anybody you want to well, say hello to? Well, our usual friends are there, but it was really funny. I get a lot of messages from people lately, long messages about their love life. And I got one just before we went on air. Um, I have no idea how we know each other, but she was just saying thank you from the last episode because she is one of the 50 people I mentioned that I didn't want to ghost. Like, you know, if we could just teach 
like 50 people to not go to make a better world out yeah. there. And she said, I won't read the whole thing because um, she does talk about a really sensitive ghosting story. But she mm. said, um, felt like you guys deserve to know you're getting through people and you're doing a great job. Blind leading the blind who can claim they really know anyway. So, oh my God, are we making a difference? <laughs> in the world <laughs> well if we can avoid one ghost at a time i'm cool with that and just convince someone to not ghost i'm i'm okay we are <laughs> healing the world and spreading love we're super here <laughs> no, okay yeah oh, you so even my 10 year old cousin's watching hi zach you're not allowed to watch this show uh, my away. parents are watching hey hey mom and dad <laughs> Okay, so tonight, okay. our topic, flirting. It's such an awkward topic, right? But yeah. it can be light and fun, and that is our goal. So how are we going to simplify the complexities of flirting? Uh, you know what? I am a dodgy flirt. Like, I just, if anyone's ever had an encounter flirting with me, I am, like, confusing flirt. But we're going to try to break it down today because you and I love a three-point structure. And I think there's nothing better than comparing it to a zoo or, like, animalistic approach. So we're going to go, um, okay, bye, Zach. Go watch your TV show. He just said bye. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> So our three-part structure here is, number one, prey. Uh, how do you really zone in a target? So we're going to go hunting. Basically, flirting is like hunting, right? Mm -hmm. And during this part, we have a mystery caller. Uh, we'll describe her later. And second is pounce. How do we lure the other? Sometimes when you pounce, it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just jump on them on the yeah, couch. How but we attack and the, the flirt <laughs> action basically is the plan of attack, right? Yeah, so how it's not, you can't just pounce directly. There has to be a little play here. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the third, always our goal is to avoid loneliness. No one wants to be lonely. So it's about pinning down whoever you have flirted with. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, Shari, but this is the closest but, thing. Isn't that the end goal? Pin somebody down, force them to <laughs> Force them to stay. I force them to <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? Okay. Okay. So, okay. should we? I'm so excited. Should we bring our guests in? Yeah. Oh, so, who do we have? Wait, wait, hold on. Before we get our guests in, what's your personal style? What's your personal flirting style? Okay. So, you did tell me the other day I was a sketchy, dodgy flirt. Yeah. Uh, I, I did uh, do some crowdsourcing with one person, basically. Mm -hmm. And he said I was. Uh, what did he say? Uh, I think it was witty or something. Wait, Wait. I'll try to <laughs> I won't call. So let's see. <laughs> How about you? I really have no style. I told you my go to is kind of just like, you know, like just to be funny, I think. I was told that, um, I was, I've been told that I was just bad at it. I think that's a compliment. I bad at it? I can't. I just don't know what to say. Not really. I think I just try to be funny. That's yeah, my meaning. What I think is always good is the shock and all, or like at least a little bit of surprise. Always, yeah. yeah, whether you collect stamps. I mean, who collects stamps nowadays? But something interesting about you and then find out something interesting about them. But anyways, we'll go on later. Um, maybe okay. let's bring in the two people that can help us today. Okay, so our first guest, Everybody, most of you guys watching know her, but to those who don't, you may know her voice. She is the sexy voice of our podcast, Thirsty and 30. She is fit, fab, and flirty, and our good, good friend, Cats. Let's welcome Cats. Hey, wow. Cats. <laughs> Hello. I did not approve. I did not approve that intro, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Very honored to be now on the podcast and not just uh, wreaking havoc in the comment section when you guys go there. So, hello everyone. Yeah, I'm quiet in the comment section, please. I know the day, I, guys. What happened? Come on, look alive. They're speechless. They don't know how to flirt. So, mm -hmm. uh, but Kat, we chose you because we know you did some training with Bad Gentry. And my... my <laughs> I, we know you did some training with flirting. Yes. In my, my third year of existence. 
My dad's always telling me that I need to be trained by someone in the pageant because I'm an awkward person. But that's why we chose you because we think you would be um, professionally malande, basically. Thank okay. you. Um, <laughs> let's also take a note. Let's also put a, a note that I didn't make it on the stage. So let's see how good this training was. I didn't even get on the stage. And I I think I would trip on the stage basically. But okay, should we bring the other guest in? The world we... is my stage. Yes. Let's bring our other guest, our conscience, Bea. Introduce. Okay, me. wait, let's say hi to other people here. Hi, Neil. Okay. Go at the Bea. Oh my god, don't call me Ate. <laughs> tita Bea. Call her Tita. Lola. Uh, hi, hi Match. Hi Cats Dow. Uh and hi. um yeah. And uh, hi, Rami. Yeah, and Rami as well. Okay, let's bring out. Um, I don't have any intro as prepared as you, Sherry, but this guy, you know, like when you dream about, okay, I'm gonna try to do a proper pitch here. Um, you know, when you dream about like your morning with someone and a person, like you wanna be able, someone who can make you breakfast and coffee. Well, this person can make coffee, really, really good coffee. One out of two. <laughs> Mm. He comes from Melbourne, really great voice as well. And honestly, if someone thinks I'm witty, this guy is like witty times 100. So, and he used to manage me in a cafe. So I have to say good things about him. But overall, <laughs> great guy and can make a really good coffee. So, kung ayaw mo ma lonely or gusto mo ng kape sa umaga, siya na yun. Okay. This is, this is our content today. Hey Hello. guys, <laughs> lovely to be here. Your screens look lovely today. Um, thank you for having me. Um, how are you today, guys? Um, the same, but I'm more curious about you. <laughs> how do you feel about our topic tonight? Flirting. Are you any good at it? I'm. I'm pretty good at it. Um, I think the whole point of flirting is to get your point across, and whether I did do a good job of it i usually get it there but yeah i think i'm pretty good at it i think i'm pretty good at it i attest to this because when we used to work together in the cafe every girl would probably get i know a few girls that would go to the cafe and order five coffees just to say hello to you i think when you're tattoos. Yeah. To, yes i do have quite a few tattoos um I I think I got good at flirting just to make my business more money and um, being <laughs> nice kind of just leads to flirting really. Um, yeah. You Agreed. know, that mm. being a nice haircut and a smile is flirting these days, hey? Mm. And that's what it's like in Melbourne, I think. And if there's a better reason to flirt but more than making money for your business, it's like the, <laughs> the best, it's the best yeah. reason. Okay, so Bea, let's start our topic. Pray. Okay. What exactly is pray? Okay, pray is basically finding the right person to flirt with. Okay, this is what is confusing for a lot of people. I think people are really scared of rejection. And sometimes when you flirt, you do get rejected. How do you make sure that you get the right pray? How, how do you make um, sure? I've got to, I, I'll go first. I was thinking about this because... I didn't know until I really had to think about it. But this one time, um, oh, I'm just playing with my like um, mask for like COVID stuff. That's not really romantic. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, Safety is sexy. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was at a, uh, a bar once and um, I wasn't on the prowl or anything, but I noticed a girl by herself and she was singing – a song and it was it was what was playing at the time and i really liked the song and right then and there i knew that we both liked that song i didn't go and talk to her but to me it was almost like she was flirting if she was putting out a signal which you know back in the day that was a thing to do i don't know um but yeah i was gonna i was gonna say you know bopping your head to a song that you like or if you see someone cute bopping their head, you start bopping your head, pretend you like the song. Yeah. Okay, let's just bop our head and like try to see if this is uh, come back. Okay. You know, the quickest okay, way to find 
the quickest way to find some, you know, mutual ground or some fake mutual ground, you know, is just to like yes. pick up some body language or you can try, you know, okay. like, mm. so guys, so first step to find your prey is find somebody bobbing their head. Yes. And then bob. <laughs> and then just slowly uh, work your way in. Well, like I, find I, someone who has the same like like same vibe based mm. on what they're doing from afar because you don't know them yet, right? No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You like this song? Me too. I know the words as well. Something in common. Exactly. <laughs> so, guys, I... so guys, about <laughs> flirting though, can you tell us like have you had like what's the worst flirting experience you've ever had? The cats, I'm sure you have a good one. Like the worst okay. thing. <laughs> okay. I was so excited. Okay. So um, I think, I th first of all, uh, just to, to say the prey, like how do you choose or how do you go about choosing your target? I feel like you just have to accept that if you try, you will fail. And accepting that you might fail in the flirting process will help you keep going and trying again. And then one day you will find that person who will also flirt back the way you want them to, right? So to my story now, um, yeah. I remember I was in a, I remember I was in a, a, a bar in Poblacion, which is a, a bread, it's like this, how do you explain Poblacion? It's like a, a street party-esque, they it's describe like Poblacion. Street. It's like Smith Street, it's like a grungy, grungy area where people- A grungy drink. area. Yeah. Yeah. And and um a, a, I was a hipster hangout. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and it. you know, usually they're small, right? The bar is like five steps one end to the other. And Ooh. so I was getting I was getting shari a, a beer. And I was walking to the I walked to the bar and this guy who was sort of already showing signals a few days or you know, once in a while replying to your DMs with like hearts and stuff like that. So you're kind of like, oh, I'm single, you're single. Maybe there's something, I don't know. So anyway, uh, at the bar, I he asked me, he was like, oh, hey, what are you getting? And I said, it's okay, I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna get two beers. And he goes, I got you, come on. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we got, we got, got to one one of us here, okay. Connected to this bar, mind you, the scene was not even very full so i really didn't need help getting the beer but you know fine let's do it maybe this is your move i don't want to ruin it so we walk and like i said short lang yung bar we walk five steps to the end of the bar maybe that's where his dude is i don't know and then he orders my two beers and i'm like yes thanks i'm like wow thanks it's a nice thing you did then he looks back and he goes Oh, it's 250 pesos. He asks for payment. <laughs> I can't even. Another one. Why is this common? You did not give him your number, right? N no. No. He already had it. And it was, I mean, not to say that the guy should pay for the drinks. I could have easily yeah. paid for the cash. I mean, for the beer. Pero... But you made me walk, eh? You made me go to the other end. And you, you told me you got me. You don't <laughs> got me. Basically, he gave you an even harder time. You blocked my way. You make me pay. And you act like a middle man instead of me just going straight to the freaking bartender. Exactly. I, got I got you as a customer, basically. I got you. <laughs> But how much? How much commission, Chef, for the <laughs> for the beer? Yeah, make, oh, I feel promoter pala siya. Yun pala yung yeah. kanyang, That's his way. So there. And then when I realized na parang that's it's a learning experience. Also, it's like okay, not everybody who's gonna offer you drinks is really trying to flirt with you. Maybe you know, yeah. maybe they just wanna be nice. And also, they didn't pay. So. Maybe the heart, you know, he wasn't actually fair. I don't know, but yeah, that that was probably the worst. Was it a good beer? Was it a cold beer? It I wasn't even her beer. It was my beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. I, was, I don't know. How about you, Brett? Do you have a really, really good one? 
I don't know. I don't have a really good one. I have a really bad one. I didn't even you like bad really. Ones. Oh yeah, you're well, bad. So I love this the is bad how one. I. This is how I. Um, flirted. This is probably one of my first flirting experiences. I was 15. I was at a concert, and I was what I I thought I was locking eyes with a girl. <laughs> um, but you're 15. You're not locking eyes with anyone. Um, <laughs> Maybe <laughs> someone's wearing a T-shirt you like or something like, yeah, that's cool. But, you know, maybe I was a little bit, you know, eager. But there was a cute girl and I, you know, got the nerve to walk up to her and I had had it all planned out. But when I got <laughs> up to her, I couldn't say anything at all. So <laughs> all I could do was just try and pull the words out. <laughs> That's and so then, awkward. and then just go. <laughs> and then, I and then, and then later on, I just came back and to her after walking away, and I just went, "Hey, can I please have your email address?" And then, <laughs> and then, the two years of flirting online started. So, you know, it's. It wasn't. Until, I still got there. Like I still got the details and everything, but you know, it's hard. It's nerve wracking. Two years of online yeah, we, flirting. Yeah, yeah. After that initial, um, you know, failure of not being able to speak, I went it, right back up to her and asked for her email address. So it was a success story then. Yeah, but it was still very embarrassing, and I mm. still am now telling it as a failure. But it did make me stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes, mm. but I, I did die inside that day. Like, <laughs> mm. I have one. I have a really good one. I have a re I don't know if it's good or if it worked or whatever. But um, I used to live behind a pub, like a bar. Uh, I don't know. Um, in Northcote, Northcote Social Club. And I was really obsessed with the bartender there. So I dropped my um, my Wallis, or what do you call it, a broom? Broom. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it in the back of the bar and I went to the other, the front of the bar and I was like, uh, I started talking to the, the bartender and he helped me get the, the Wallis or the mop. Your broom. Whatever. Yeah, my broom. So, so, but then we striked up a really good friendship. So, I guess it kind of worked. -ish. Why did you have a broom? Yeah, I have, it was my apartment. So I lived behind the the bar. So you so I dropped the broom. Yeah, I dropped it. No, I purposely dropped it so I can talk to him. Oh, it's like it's like the modern version of dropping your hanky. Yeah, hanky. yeah. But I dropped <laughs> But you drop your broom. But you drop a broom. I don't know why I thought it would be ideal to drop a broom. Uh, subtle. Yeah. Very subtle. Like a yeah. cleaning broom. A broom is very friendly. Yeah. Maybe you could have you killed drop, someone like... now, Bea. You could have killed someone with your broom. <laughs> Dude, what is your broom made of? <laughs> Mine is like, you know, the Filipino Willis. Like, the, ba the Baguio really... one. Yeah, it's really soft. I brought it from the Philippines. What's so. a what what's a broom or a Wallace? Uh, it's <laughs> it's got it's like a brush to clean oh, the okay. floor. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's very silly, but that's sweet. very silly. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Okay. So, guys, before we dive more into it, okay, if you would gauge our flirting levels from one to ten, what would it be? Bea, you're what? From one to ten, how good's your flirting? Ten being the best. <laughs> Negative one hundred. <laughs> I'm a negative too. I'm a negative also. Kat, how good are you? Hey, hey, I want to say that if you are still getting, if you're, you're still getting to talk to people, that's not negative. That's not negative. Okay, fine. I'm a one. I'm a one. I'm always your supportive friend. So, Kat, like, I told you, this is my room. That's okay. Good. Ten. Ten. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I think, I know. I think I'm the the typical. Um, I'm not flirty. I'm just friendly. Ah, uh, so I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm just super super friendly. How good or how? How about you, Brett? One to ten. How amazing is your flirting? 
I don't know. I think I'm probably about a six. I thought I was about a, a nine, and now I'm thinking six. And okay. as this goes on, I'm thinking maybe Hi. I'm not an expert at all. It's getting getting lower. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, so, yeah. So they are they're like, both better than us. So yeah. now we have to practice our mindful flirting. Okay. Take okay. Through it. Wait, mindful should we flirting? We do have a caller. Should we call her in though? Oh yes, yes, yes. Let's hear from our caller first. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring her in without showing her face again. Um, her name is well. She wanted to be called Shirley Temple, but I think I have no idea why she called herself Shirley Temple. Maybe she's cute, but let's find out why. Maybe she's um, curly hair. Ooh, can't you have to unmute yourself, Shirley Temple? Shirley Temple. Oh, there. Hello. Shirley. <laughs> Shirley. 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 Hoy, hoy, Shirley. Nasang kara. She's talking. Nadao. Oh. oh. Okay. Should we add her to the stream? Hide your face, just to be oh, sure. Oh yeah. Add the stream. Go. There Shirley. you go. Okay. Hi, it's me, oh, yeah. okay. ST, short for Shirley Temple. Hi, ST. What's what's what? What's your problem? What's your problem? What's <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. So I've had this problem for a while now, and honestly, I do have flirting PTSD. So. If you really must know, this started a long time ago when I first joined the app Tinder. I'm not sure if you've heard about it. I'm not familiar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that there are a lot of nasty guys in there. So, you know, I had to protect myself as much as I could. So I signed up and I made sure that my description was as virginal as it could be. So I put in my description like, Hey, I'm just looking for some guys here who'd like to go to Bali with me and some of my friends. And, you know, Bali is such a trigger word for millennials nowadays. Everyone just gets titillated by the word Bali. So <laughs> I, was, I was expecting a lot of good convos coming in. So I waited and waited. I swipe right, swipe left. And there's a really, really, really hot guy, level 10 hot. So then I swipe right, of course, and then I took his description, says he's an account manager in Singapore. So then I search him on LinkedIn and oh my God, this guy, he will be Forbes 30 under 30. Like that is the future. I already knew he was going to be my lover. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I tried to come up with the flirtiest thing I could say to him. So I dropped him a hi. And he responded, hi. And he said, I can feel so much excitement through your first line. I had to respond. So I was like, ha, funny. And I said, ha, 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 you're silly. I like it. Then he replied, so I'm off to a good start. Great news. So what is this whole Bali project thing? And then I go, well, it's a never ending project, actually. It only ends when we're dead. What are your thoughts on it? And sadly, it turned 360, and he replied, if we end up dying naked, then I'm in. And my God, I was shook. The word naked triggered me. So my problem is, when it comes to flirting, how do you reel it back in when it gets too far? Please help me. How do you reel it back <laughs> in when it gets too far. You mean when it gets too sexual? Yeah, I, mean, I just want to love like a, a husband, boyfriend, lover, not a sex mate. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how, how are your, how are your, Shirley Temple, how are your pictures on Tinder? Are they as virginal as your like profile? <laughs> Um, uh, well, I'm wearing a dress. It shows a little bit of leg, but my, my face was Shirley Temple, a mocktail, not a cocktail. I'm a little... 
Um, okay. <laughs> okay, show me example. My first advice is if you're looking for a, a lover, not a not a sex buddy, I guess first step is to make sure that your photo is um you're looking for a husband. I guess you also want to look for a quote unquote a wife material photo. Um right, guys? And also what, don't invite them to Bali. Diba? Yeah, because Bali is a trigger word for you know what you know what happens in Bali. What she doesn't, guys. She doesn't I know. I don't know. I've She's never just been there to for Bali. yoga. What? Big Brad, you're an Australian. <laughs> like your Boracay. What's their backyard? Okay, wait. I have an advice. Practical, practical. Because you're okay. in Bali right okay. This is a Bali okay. setting. You can invite him to some meditation. I don't know. You can invite him to some yoga, yoga retreat. Like you could do like a, what do you think of this? And I know a lot of people go to Bali not just for tequila shots and to die or like, you know, to be dead with shots. But basically, you can have a retreat. Um, so, I don't know. Shirley Temple, is is, uh, is she on the line now? Hello, Shirley. I'm still She's, here. Oh, are, are you from Bali? No, I'm just oh. a visitor of the lovely island. Okay, so, <laughs> so okay. I think Bali is the issue because going on a holiday as a date is you'd want to get naked on a beach. Most people would. <laughs> No. So you'd have to say. Who do you hang out going... with? Oh no, but like you know, on Tinder, if yeah, I'm gonna, um, yeah, the Bali is the issue part. I think. So I think it's my description. Also, I think the main the main issue is that you're already kind of setting yourself up for failure. It's Tinder. Like all my Tinder matches, ninety percent of them always just want the whole the sex and the sexting thing. <laughs> A tiny percentage would actually like try to get to know you. So first, it's a bad space to look for your husband material. But second, if you're asking how to respond, I say is change the subject. If you, I mean, we saw on in your pre-interview, Shirley, we saw the photo of the guy. Oh. He's very handsome. I would just reply, <laughs> but. Just try to like um, steer it into like a direction that's not as sexual. Like basically, like what did he say? If we die naked, I'm in. I'm like, what about we don't die and we're not naked, but we um, go yeah. to the library? I don't know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you, Shari, go to a cafe. Plus points for you, Shari, in the flirting. See, you knew exactly what to reply. So that is a plus. It's wait, a, wait, you know, so, yeah, thank you, cats. <laughs> Kat, what would you say? I think um, I like what Kara said. She said if she's not into it, then don't reply. Because yeah. he's or, like when you flirt with a person, even on Tinder, if even if you flirt, the, the even if you try what you want, like if they want something else, then you'll, you won't change that. Eh? So why are you going to waste your time? Like if that's what they're looking for, move on. There's an there's someone out there who's also not looking for eggplant, you know? <laughs> you know? Actually, you know what? A few months ago, two months ago, I matched with somebody on Tinder. He was he was good looking. Not even actually more than two months ago. He was so good looking. And then he was like, I went to Dartmouth, blah, blah, blah. And then in the first five minutes, the conversation was so good. And then out of nowhere, like out of nowhere, he goes and like, What's your cup size? I'm like, like where the um, and it just, I didn't know what to reply. I like stared at my screen for like a whole month. I'm like, and then I unmatched. I mean, even if he was good looking and let's say what he was saying was, it's not worth it. So Shirley Temple, maybe no. unmatched. I think cut you can. It. Yeah. No, don't cut, cut it. You look so cute. Don't I know. No, cut it. Wait, show the photo. Show the photo. No. Yeah, no, apparently. Oh. This is what you say. Okay, we'll have to see. Just say, book your ticket and we'll have to see. That's it. There's a, there's a ticket yeah. being booked. That's hectic. 
No, when you don't, don't have, have someone you travel for ticket, you when you're, you're unsure of it. You're booking a ticket. When you book exactly. a ticket, you're booking a ticket, Bea. You should know this. You see the winking? What? Don't. I'm you're book booking a ticket. A ticket. I mean, oh, yeah. Book, yeah. When you book a ticket, you book a ticket. Cats, correct. I think you should just leave it up in the air and bring your friends, protect yourself. Okay. But he could be fun. It's just part of it. I mean, it I is bad. I think try your best to steer it into the direction that you want. And if he really doesn't want to and you're forcing it to get sexual, then unmatch. Like, you know, more, more handsome fish in the sea. Shirley, right? did we help you? I don't think we helped her. You sure. did. Thank you so much. I'm going to message him now after one year and ask him how he's doing and if he's alive and not the oh, yeah. kid. Okay. okay. Guys, okay. We, ha we have a question from Mitch. Do you think then that guys are more sexual when flirting and girls are more romantic about it? Hmm. Let's show that. I think Bay is more sexual about it. What? <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're, we're going to. I think most okay, okay. Are, we're being honest here. We're being honest. I don't think gender matters. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's okay. personality, hundred percent. Yeah. It's all about climate. It could be hot weather. It could be anything. Like. Yeah. I, I think. How, how about you, Brett? What do you think? As our main man here, you think you guys are more sexual or romantic? Um, I think on um, Tinder and stuff, we're definitely more sexual. Um, and I think that's just because, you know, you're on Tinder and your phone's there and your phone's connected to the internet and the internet's connected to a lot of sexy things and that gets a male's mind going sometimes. But we do need to cool our jets, jets I think, and I think that we could be a little bit more romantic. Um, I'm not going to comment on what females do. Um, you're both romantic and sexy. How about that? How about you, cats? But I don't. But I don't think. I think like girls just get a little. I mean, girls still have, feel that they have to be more modest. But I do. Yeah. I do know a lot of people, a lot of women who are proudly aggressive, and I love it. So I guess it really depends on your style. Like, Malimo, this will work on the person you're flirting mm -hmm. with, right? I wish, honestly, I wish I could be more aggressive and not just do this all the time. I wish I could be like more of the sexual, like, hey, hey, boys, and not do this. But I think that's <laughs> learnable. I think that's a choice. Like, you have yeah. to, okay, today I will be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Rare. Like, <laughs> that's something that you have to choose. Can on. Okay, guys, from Kara, even if he's super duper guapo, if he's not into looking for a wife, she's still not going to get him. You know, that's true. 99% true. But there's a 1%. <laughs> you can get this guapo guy to be really? your husband. Um, so what's her advice? I don't, I'm now confused what she's meant to do. No, our I'm advice. I'm confused that, too. Our advice was try her best to steer it into the, the direction she wants. Yeah. And if she can't, and she's unmatched. More more men out there that will match her her qualifications. But what? starting show the photo, it will change everything. Oh, wait, did, what if his only kink is to die on the beach naked with his wife? But he's perfect. Ne then oh, he's perfect. So what? Romantic. Now that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, now it sounds like we need to uh, actually ask. It's guy. like a, ver it's like a version of the notebook. That's so sweet. <laughs> Except yeah. in Bali, I'm naked with tequila shots. Perfect. Exactly what the notebook is. <laughs> I think, Aww, I think for me, you can... She, Shirley, Shirley, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Shirley, I think you can still keep talking to him as long as you want to talk to him, but don't compromise like what yeah. you want in the Lande process. And actually, honestly, you never know. You know, there, I had this again. Speaking of ten, from Tinder experience, I remember there Ooh, was this one, Tinder. There was this one person who was like very pervy from the start. But I don't know. There was just something. I was like, you know what? He seems he seems charming, other than the pervy. And I kind of stuck with it. And eventually, the perviness peeled away, and he was way more engaging. So maybe you just try your best to kind of just 
roll with the punches first. As long as you're not sending anything that you're uncomfortable with, try to take things lightly. And then maybe you'll never you'll never know. Maybe it'll be a switch when he's more comfortable. Then he can actually show you his real personality, and um, maybe maybe you'll get to know each other. And if not, and he's still a perv, then unmatch. Yeah, agree. Huh. I think this is part I of like the town, kind of like the word interaction or what do you call word foreplay. So I feel like just go with it, but just be, be safe. Protect mm. yourself. <laughs> Surely we are rooting for you. He is foggy. Um, so tell cute. us what happened. Brett Poggy means handsome in Tagalog. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Good luck. Cool. Good luck, Shirley. Good Thank luck. you. Thank you. Bye, Shirley. Bye, Shirley. Bye, Bye Shirley. Bye, Shirley. Bye, Shirley. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I. She's still here. Okay, is this where, sorry, Brett. Talking about Shirley now. You guys, yeah. Shirley, no, no, my God. <laughs> okay, so Bea, what's what's next in our flow? So we got our prey. May our main lesson for the prey is be mindful with who you flirt. Yeah. With. Make sure that the person you're flirting with, you try to find out if he matches or she matches what you want and what you need. For Brett, I think Brett, you told us that you pictured um, what did you picture again for who you want to flirt with? Did you tell us what you were picturing for your? I I look for someone liking the same song I like. So mm. if someone knows the words to a song playing on the radio that I like, that's a good opening line. Mm. Mm. Songs so always bring people together. By the way, songs, oh. films, yeah. Or Carrying yeah. around, your, if you want someone to talk to you, um, if you want someone to talk to you and you want the love of your life to come up and talk to you, carry around your favorite book all the time and like put that on like, because mm -hmm. then <laughs> someone comes up to you and is like, that's my favorite book as well. It's like, yeah, that's why I'm carrying it around. Let's go oh get a room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We swerve. Right. Brett, we it's swerve. Right. It was it's so sweet. sweet and then let's get it. You know what? Oh, okay. In the library, in the library. Get a room in the library. <laughs> Bea, you're too, for, you're too forgiving for all the pervy things, Bea. Huh? We know your flirting style already. It's obvious. You're the pervy. If you were a dude, you'd be the unsolicited dick pic sender. That's Bea's <laughs> yeah. pervy personality. <laughs> it's like, I thought she wanted a pic. I thought she wanted this pic. She asked for it. Her eyes said, she, her yeah, eyes said, she, she sent me an emoji. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to drop out of this show. My mom's watching. My, my cousins are watching. Guys. Okay. We, we wanted this. Okay. We okay, wanted babe. this. Bea, a topic to pounds. I want, I want okay. to get into our game. I'm so excited. Just to inform everyone, I'm pretty um, decent person to talk to. It's, so. not true. I'm, it's not true. Bea is not a dick pic sender. We're just messing with it. I don't have a dick, so I can't send any. <laughs> <laughs> I could Google it and then forward it to people. But okay, topic two, uh, pound thing. So hmm. what flirting? Okay, you know this like test about love language do you think that relates to flirting style so for example my uh, love language is i think it's quality time so does that relate to how i want to flirt well, how about like what do you guys think i think, I think so because so, it's something that you like to do so if you're a gift giver your flirt style is gift giving like <laughs> i think that's courting style ne? What's your love well, language, cats? Mine is um, oh my! What are the love languages again? Quality <laughs> time. That's mine. Physical touch. Um, yeah. Gifts. Get, acts of service. Gifts. Acts of service. And what's the other one? And words. Words of mm -hmm. affirmation. Yeah. yeah. Words of affirmation. Yeah. So no I feel like I yeah I'm I'm acts of service and. Probably words. I think I'm words. I don't remember. Mm. How about you, Brett? Where do you think you fall under? Uh, is there a test to do online? There um, is yeah. a test. 
Okay. Is it uh, I've never heard of this before, but I would say that I'm words. Um, I think, yeah. But I've never heard of um, language of love before. Oh, you should you should take this test. Okay. I'm, I'm, I have quality time. I'm very simple. Just give me time and attention. I'm fine. You know. Um, okay. One question. Mm. Um, I think we already discussed like your go-to moves and flirting style, but I want to know what turns you off about the opposite sex when it comes to flirting. Pushy. I don't like pushy. Mm. Like I don't like people who are uh, the um like I think I say okay, I think flirting say, is really connecting with another person, like looking at the, looking them in the eye, um, listening to what they're saying, kind of like being interested in what they're talking about. That's a flirt na for me. Eh? Like, yeah, talk to me about work, you know, something like that. But <laughs> if you're if you're pushy, like, or or only talking about yourself without asking questions back, parang, or trying to impress with like big words, or I don't know, that's not my thing. Okay, no pushy. Um, Marielle said, I invited you for quality time. You rejected me, liar. Marielle, it's, it's COVID. I'm not lying. I, I'd love to spend quality time, but I can't. My hands are tied. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Okay, wait. So, how about you, Brad? What turns you off with the opposite sex when it comes to flirting? Um, I've got tattoos. Um, I don't like them being commented on. Like, I really? don't like. Yeah, like I don't. Yeah, like I know. Just I don't like being them being acknowledged within like the first little bit. You know, the first couple of sentences. That's all. Just I don't like. I like your tattoos. That's all. Why is Why is that? Are your tattoos very private? Oh no, I don't know. I just kind of forget I have them, and mm. they don't have very many much meaning. Um, I guess I just think it's very obvious thing to bring up it within the first, you know, five minutes of a conversation, even though they are painted all over me and I look like a NASCAR. So, like, whatever. I just like find like something it. new. Yeah, yeah. Find something new. So, That's yeah. Something. Don't be cliche or too obvious. Yeah. Guys, we have another question here. Check this out. What is your take on negging as a flirting style? Negging when you slightly put them down or insult them to get a reaction. Personally, I like it, but not too much. Oh, yeah. balance. I like being teased. I like, like, I don't take compliments well. Like, you know, when people say, oh, you're so pretty or you're so blah, blah. I like it more when kind of, they kind of make fun of me. I find it cuter. It's 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 fun for me versus the very generic, oh, you have such a nice smile or I love your dimples or blah, blah, blah. I'm like, eh, whatever. But when they're like, you suck, I'm like, ah, you're so funny. <laughs> you know? so I, and then Shari does this. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how about you guys on the negging? I'm not a fan. I really? I don't do, I don't do it, and I would definitely hate it. But if someone said I was weird for liking, you know, Burger King over McDonald's, you know, I'd be like, that's a cute tease, you know. But not negging, you know, when people are like just make fun of the person just because of that. No, nah, I'm not mm. for it. Mm. Definite no. Cats depends. Cause it's depend. Depend. What is what time it is? Joke lang. Oh. <laughs> I think I uh, know. There's a line there. Eh. Cause it's sometimes the it's very, like some people feel like it's it's they, they can't take the the insult and it's okay also. Like it's okay if you find it rude. So I feel like people have to tread that differently. And also if you don't. Like Shari, you like it, right? You think it's cute, but then not all women will find it cute. So that's there's also a thin, there's a thin line between being cruel and still being a little bit cute and funny. You have to yeah, find the also, yeah. People's yeah. lines are also different, so be yeah, careful, sure. Lamarin, yeah, right? Be careful. So instead of attempting, maybe you can do a little bit more eye contact and listening instead of, or if type new and they, you know, mm. nudge nudge, yeah. 
Bea, how about you? I comment on my TED Talk. Well, I used to love nagging. I used to, I must to say as you, Shari, like, it's always about if someone's telling you you, like, suck or, you know, bagging you out. Um, it was, like, attractive to me because it was, like, a challenge. But now, I don't know if it's us getting older or aging. I just think it's better to be encouraging and productive in That's your flirt. So, true. maybe I'm growing up. I don't know. <laughs> You know what my thing with that? When it's always, when you're always encouraging and you're always positive and you're always nice, sometimes to me it ends up sounding generic. Yeah. Like, instead of, like it, it stops being genuine to me. But when you mix in like a bit of teasing or a bit of like, you know, a bit of banter and it's not always like, you're the best, you can do it, do this. Like, you know, like it's the compliments sound much better when it's mixed in with more mundane or silly things. But you know, maybe that's just that's just me. Just mixing it up basically. Yeah, not being guys. Okay. Guys, maybe next- also like not initially, like maybe that's not your initial flirt, like negging. Maybe when you know each other a little bit more, then you neg. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So we're like all an offense, like with the negging. Could be depends on the delivery, depends on the looks. <laughs> it depends on the looks. No matter if you're very, very handsome, I'm like neg away. You can, you can get away with anything. <laughs> like, okay, maybe. this is a good. This is a good mature comment. Unlike our comment, Cherry uh-huh. Michelle said, I think negging shows the opposite of intellect. Oh my God. Really. Ooh. Sometimes okay. I feel like I feel like when you do it well, aka you're still funny and not offensive. I think it's a nice it's a nice form of humor. But I get what Mitch is saying too. I get it. Yeah, uh, let's grow up, basically. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. Okay, guys. Okay, we have another question. Um, Hi. how do you see that flirting has evolved from people younger than us to now? Do you think we're braver flirts as we age, or are we more careful? Hmm. I think we're more careful, I'm or not. we're smarter about it. Yeah, I do or, less stupid yeah. things, right? Before yeah, less like, stupid flirt, things. Flirt, flirt, and now it's like flirt. flirt. Yeah, <laughs> and then sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because now we're tired <laughs> because we're older. I think now it's like you know we're um, selective flirting because now okay. we're we don't want to yeah. waste time anymore and just flirt with every man in town. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. tiring. It's tiring. Like it's mm-hmm. so tiring to to stri- strike up conversations, to be interesting, to be to be mm-hmm. interested. Are like really? Are you really interested all the time with another I, person? You know, small small talk in general is exhausting. Yeah. And then flirting is just like a level up of small talk, so it's even more yeah. tiring to do it so often. You're like, I not Like enough. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. So definitely slower pace of flirting. But I I don't know what it's like for younger people. Like, cats, you have siblings. What are they like with flirting now? <laughs> so I asked my, I did a, I did a, I did research here amongst my two siblings and because um apparently when um I'm not gonna mention who na lang, but one of them when one of them was flirting also in like a bar or a club what they do is they talk to someone um and then for two to three minutes if there's the conversation is going well he'll suddenly say or she'll suddenly say something like oh why don't you make ubus na your drink? Come on, let's go to the bar. I'll get you na. And I think that's the the equivalent of us going, hey, you want a shot? So <laughs> I feel like it just evolved, you know? Yeah. So, but it's the same kind of thing. It still goes down to let's go get a drink together and have a conversation. Just yeah. more casual. I, also. Make I like this, na. what Mitch said also. I think you also like our star with our audience. Yeah, Mitch, I love your it's more authentic flirting. More purposeful flirting. So I feel like now people are like too into texting. That flirting is done all through text or Facebook or social media. But I remember during my time, <laughs> you know, three years back, 
<laughs> that we actually wrote notes to each other. Like I used to, I think I mentioned this uh, during our preparation. I would write notes on paper in, um, and say that you're cute. You're good looking, have a good day. And I'd give it away. Like I'd give it out to guys I thought that were cute. She'd do and, that at, at work when I worked with yeah. her. Was it uncomfortable, Brett, or did you enjoy it? No, I, didn't, I didn't think it was a good idea at all. <laughs> it was encroaching of, you're very beautiful, but you're still encroaching on people's face. <laughs> did you get like good results, Bea? My results, ba. Yes, this is the logic. If they are able to accept that compliment on a piece of paper, then basically they're a good person. Or, you know, <laughs> but if they reject that, either they're taken or they're an asshole. So it's a win-win for me. And we got tips for it, Brett. Those are the only two options, taken or an asshole. Not shy, <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> okay. So, okay, here's why, okay, guys, so we practice our flirting, we pounce. How do you know if someone is being flirty or friendly? Mm. Mm, I don't I, know. Personally, I think it's all about body language, like how they respond. Because it kind of like, you know, when you kind of reach in to somebody and then they kind of, it's either they pull back or they accept. I think that kind of shows more... Um, how effective your flirting is or if they're actually flirting back. Or is that the pervy way of looking at it? Pervy. You, uh, you can't use touch as an indicator for flirting anymore, I don't think. <laughs> no. So you can't touch anyone. We're all virtual. Yeah. Okay, then how like, do we know if we're just flirting? You don't anymore. I think that's a forever question that nobody will ever solve. Like, we're forever doomed. To never know until you try. So we just try. And try. Ever, yeah. Have you ever acknowledged that you're flirting in mid conversation? Like mid conversation with hey, someone? I'm going, flirting with you. Like we're that. flirting. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Are we flirting right now? I've said you know, it. I've, just I've, oh, record. yeah, I've done yeah. that. Yeah, so have I. I think that's when you know. Oh, that's how. I, okay, yeah. I guess because it's, 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 it's fun and it's smooth. It's not. Yeah, okay, fine. That makes a lot mm -hmm. of sense. Yeah. That's a takeaway. You can ask. It's okay to ask. Are we flirting right now? Yeah. <laughs> Don't act mm. like that. I'm <laughs> selling you. I'm selling you a beer. That's what I'm doing to you. Yeah. <laughs> Bomb Bachit said, "Just gotta shoot your shot." Yeah, Bomb yes, Bachit. Shout yeah, out to Bomb Bachit. Our a very exciting guest last week, Brett. You should have heard his story. He was amazing. This oh, one's another have. one. I, I think this is really important. This is for my cousin, Carla. It's lazy. People think liking multiple and older photos on Instagram nowadays is flirting. Yes. It is, it is that's not. not that's stalking. That's not flirting. No, that's not stalking. You go scroll back Sh to like... Shirley Temple was like LinkedIn searching yeah. um, Forbes under 30. Yeah, but if they um, don't know, it's not stalking. Okay. No, that's not stalking because you're on their Instagram already and you don't like all the photos. You just go back to a really, really far one and then go, I'm here. You just go, bam, I'm I'm here. I'm just about. I'm alive. I'm alive. I exist. No, just I'm out me. There. <laughs> yeah. So if somebody scrolls back, Brett, in your Instagram and likes a post from five years ago, you're like, she's not stalking me. She's just flirting. Oh shit, no, nah, they're crazy. See? Uh, <laughs> I do that. I do that with people I miss. So yeah, they are. So there's, there's crazy as bear. Hey, yo, you keep digging yourself in your grave. You just said that you weren't a dick pic sender. Now you're saying you're a stalker too. <laughs> I mean, I look at people's photos and if I know them, let's say, oh, okay. Yeah, like I would like the old ones. I just like tap, 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 tap. What if, See, new, what, if what if it's a new what if it's a new prospect? Um yeah, if I like the photo. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why it's confusing because sometimes like you you don't even know if it's a move or not. Like mm. liking a photo or what like watching your Instagram stories, being the the first watcher all the time. Like, is that a move? I don't know. Uh, maybe. The so first watcher here, all the time. 
Therese said, I miss flirting pre-social media. When you could text someone, get credit. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There's, <laughs> uh, Brett, this is a special question for you. Do you find it off-putting when a woman is aggressive with her flirting? Hmm. Give advice to us women. <laughs> um, yes and no. Sometimes I do find anything aggressive off putting if i'm not in the mood um but if you're an aggressive flirter keep keep going because if that's your style keep doing it you'll find an equally aggressive or submissive to that person i think what's you, what you, what why is it too much though when is a woman flirting like okay girl chill do you, have you ever had an experience I've never had it no no i've no, I'm, I'm not that. Yeah, I haven't had that kind of vibe before where someone just had to keep flirting no matter what at me. <laughs> I, try I, and try. Now, like, now that I haven't had it that often, if it ever did happen to me, I'd just be like, yo, if you've got any more hectic flirting, keep it coming because <laughs> I've never had it before. This is awesome. Okay. So you're open to it. <laughs> I'm open to it because I've never had it now. But don't yeah. do it too much, yeah. Because it just sounds work. bad. Mm. Mm. Sorry, are you an aggressive flirter? Like, when you really want something? No, I told you. I just, This is my move. I'm really bad at... I'm bad at it. I'm bad at accepting compliments. <laughs> I'm bad at giving compliments because I feel like it's awkward. I don't want to make a person feel awkward. I told you, this is an important lesson. So, guys, I need okay. all the I can get. This I one, I'm very... Go on, Brett. I think that if you walked into a party and went, hey, everyone, and that's <laughs> really aggressive, that's an aggressive way of doing that. And With whoever did it back to you, you know that's to go the talk one. to them. That's the one. <laughs> like, everybody, and I get this one, I'm like, there he is. Hey. There then, is, yeah. <laughs> I really mm. believe that people will get the people they f like. They'll they'll get their match when it comes to flirting. Like even if you know flirting isn't just for the confident people, like you'll get a match because someone will also be attracted to that kind of lande or that kind of move, deba. Right? Yeah, but guys, do we all agree though that flirting? <clears throat> it's not. It's also like your tone of voice. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> of course. Brett, do you find do you find it attractive when a woman is more like have her bedroom voice on? Or give us. Uh, I didn't until then, but like, yeah, <laughs> clearly, I did, like. It's not more attractive. It just changed. Change is as good as a holiday. Um, but yeah, if, if if there's like versatility in a voice, I'm all for that. You know. Versatility and the Marseilla <laughs> that brings us to our game. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, guys, we have a game. <laughs> okay, shall we explain the mechanics? Um, yeah. The entire game is basically expert versus novice. The novice here is like Shari and I. Um, and we have chosen, how many words have we chosen? Five. Six. Five really good Filipino malutong no words and we have to use it in a sentence that is flirty and we have the pleasure of brett judging us you have to give us three stars two stars one star do we have negative stars no no negative <laughs> okay oh. i was asking yeah go on so brett you're perfect to judge us because all you can judge us on is our tone of voice honestly these sentences are gonna be it's gonna be nothing because these are just very basic tagalog words that have a little bit of heft to them, yeah. but very innocent meanings. So it's all about our tone of voice and our body language. Okay. That's her pro, by the way, because she has a naturally sexy voice. Mm -hmm. So our first word. Like a man. Basically, I sound like a man. <laughs> That's it. They're trying to make me sound great. But I get okay. to a lot. So. <laughs> What's our first word? <laughs> our first word. <laughs> It's chicharon. <laughs> Bea, take it away. <laughs> uh, ako? Ah, go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ako ba una? Uh -huh. <laughs> Why not? 
<laughs> Sige. Okay. Isaw-saw mo ang suka, ang, ang chicharon mo sa suka mo. <laughs> Wait, again, again. It <laughs> will make sense in Tagalog. Isaw- <laughs> Thank you. Isaw-saw mo ang chicharon mo sa suka mo. <laughs> Oh, 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 my suka. I can't, I can't. Okay, ito na lang, ito na lang. Gusto mo ba na yung chicharon? Okay, rate na ba? Well, here yeah, we are. I can rate me. Um, Do a good job. Two. I'm going to say, like, I don't know. I've got no point of reference. It's a... You want a point of okay. reference? That's a two. If you okay. want to get, if you want to get a three, you got to do better than that. If you don't do as good as that, you get a one. Okay, okay. you're you're a that's, fair that's judge. A good, yeah, he's 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 fair. Okay. 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 Um, is it me? Should we make the pro go last? No, cat yeah. first. Just okay, okay. It's a box. It's yeah. What? Who's next? Shari, no, you. <clears throat> Ahem. Um, ang pangit ng araw ko kasi makunat yung chicharoy. <laughs> three. That was good. Oh, three. Oh, three. I'm so angry. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like over there. It, was, it, was, it wasn't like silly at all. Like it wasn't this. It was like, you mean business. Okay. Oh my god, she says I mean business. I think business. Yeah. It's funny because you don't even know the words, what it means, no? You don't know what it means. We'll explain okay. to you yeah. later. I'll explain to you after each word, I'll tell you what it means. Cat, okay. your turn. Okay. Hey, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> With a name. Hey, Brad. <laughs> so, what is the part of Chicharon? Laman or Loob? <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven. What? What is it? <laughs> I thought it was only out of three, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna say two with that one as well. Oh I think god. I. Like, Daddy, like, I told it, you. I didn't win this round. Oh my god! <laughs> my parents will be so proud. Yeah, I think I like serious business flirting rather than. Uh, uh, so oh, no. maybe you guys need to ease up on the giggle. Okay, if game you want to get some more okay. points. No, okay, mm-hmm. our next word. But that, it might all change in the next round. Wait, Who knows what that? What I... Oh, chicharon means pork rind. Yeah. Yeah. And Bea cool. says, <laughs> I wanted to dip the pork rind in my vinegar. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said, I said I had a bad day because my pork rind wasn't crispy. And Kat said, which part, which part of the pork rind do you want? The inside or the outside? Whoa. Mm. <laughs> he's going to change his, his, he's gonna change his <laughs> Yeah. Someone wants to call in. So many people want to participate. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Now, our guys, our next word is Maglaba. Okay, I'm not first. Okay, who wants to go first? <laughs> Maglaba. Other way, Kat, you first. Okay. <laughs> Maglaba. Um, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Brad, alam mo na yung mga gusot ng, <laughs> ng buhay ko. Gusto mo maglaba together? <laughs> Three. Three. Uh, three. Oh, is that my turn? What? Yes, you it's your turn. Parang masarap magtampisaw sa batis pagtapos kong maglamba. It started off as a three, then went to a two. 
I'm going to stick with the two on that one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, re- I'm ready. You gotta be able to you gotta be able to keep it cool with okay. the flirting too. Keep your cool, Rhea. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> Mukang wala ka na masuot. Ipaglalaba kita ng mga damit mo. Yeah, that was three. It's three. It's very- yes! How yes! I have lost this one? Guys, I just want to remind you all I was the sole winner in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody wants to call in. Maybe you can send Kara the link. And then we can ask her to join for number four. Okay, I will send you. I will send you the link. Okay, next word. This is too good. Oh, um, maglaba. Oh, yes, yes. maglaba means wash clothes. What? Okay. Maglaba, the word we used, maglaba, it means to wash clothes, laundry. Okay. Yeah. So, so I said, um, it looks like you have nothing to wear and I will wash your clothes for you. I said yeah. it. I said it's fun to go swimming after I wash our clothes in the river. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're getting better. You're mute. That's your mute. You're mute. <laughs> you're mute. There. Oh, unmute. What? Unmute. Kat, so you have to unmute yourself. Oh, there. There, there. I, I said, you know all the wrinkles in my life. Would you like to wash together? Oh. Hey, that was oh. cool. <laughs> Are you guys making these sentences up yourselves too? Yeah. 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 On so, the fly. They're so What's like the poetic What's the in next themselves. Word? The next word is amoy. Amoy. Okay, I'll go first in this one. Gusto ka lang bag... No, okay, hold on. Let me start again. Hmm. Umo ka yung araw ko dahil sa amoy mo. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Thank you. Three. Um, Bea, let's mix up the order. Bea, you go next. Okay, call a friend. Kaya come in. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. um, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I can't translate in my head. Okay. Um, napakabango ng kaping ginawa mo. Where's the word amoy, Bea? Amoy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I forgot the word. <laughs> um, is that, do you just get disqualified for that? Uh, 2.5 okay, you know, I- otherwise. <laughs> what? What did I get? 2.5 on that okay, one. Okay, but I got disqualified. Okay. I didn't wow. even use the word. Sorry. Okay, okay. Come on. Cats. This. Oh, there's okay. a color for our word number four. Okay. I'm white, okay. cats. Come on, cats. I'm white. Okay. Na amoy mo yon. Amoy tayo. Oh my God. I like that. I give a Three. Five. Three. Three. <laughs> Thank I you. I like that, cats. I call, can I call a friend? Can someone uh, replace me in this episode? Yes, he's for episode four. He's for question four. Brett, amoy means smell. <laughs> did you come up with this game, though, Bear? Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, our next word is putubong bong. And let's start with our caller. Hey, Kara. Please hey, use. Hey, guys. Hey, please use putubong bong. <laughs> in a what? Put the bong bong in a Put sexy bong bong. Mm-hmm. You can show your face right. to it. Yeah, you you no, it. I'm like in my pantulog. It's okay. <laughs> um, Put the bong bong. All right. Um, Brett, balita ko, masarap daw yung put the bong bong mo. <laughs> Done! Done. 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 Okay. Done. No you other. Beat, you cannot beat that sentence. We will translate it for you, but please, please read here first. Oh, that was a three. That was 100% three. Of okay. course, she's like a three. Were, Thank you. Thank I you. you was, <laughs> I thought you were singing to me. So, wow. Brett, Putabong bong is a snack in the Philippines that's um, shaped a certain way. And 
Um, <laughs> Kara said that she was like, Brett, I heard that your putong bong <laughs> um, tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only sexual if you say it is, right? Yeah. True. True. Yeah, right. He owns a cafe. He probably has good puto bong bong there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kara, you are a winner. Whoa. Join us for the next word, Kara. You're in anyway. Guys, the last <laughs> word is my favorite word. The last is word it? is dam buhala. <laughs> Pat, call a friend. Kara, do it for me. Dumb- no, no, no. You have to do it first. Hey, you have to do it. Ah, Bea, you start. Dambohala. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Ito bang suot ko? Mukha kong dambohala. <laughs> did, she, did she just put the word at the end with no like reference at all? No, I'm, not, I'm okay. not disqualified. Again. <laughs> okay, that was three then. <laughs> Okay. Has anyone written down a score? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had a okay. <clears throat> um, me. Sabi ng matatanda sa barangay. Okay, daw mga tambuhala. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Two. What? <laughs> what? I'm being fair. losing its charm? Okay, cat <laughs> your turn. <laughs> okay, do we need a sentence? Can... <laughs> Whatever you want. Follow your because... heart. Bread. Dambuhala. 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 <laughs> Dambuhala. <laughs> Dambuhala. <laughs> <laughs> that's three. That's three. Number five. Three to five. Kara, take it away. Dumbohala. Oh my gosh, Dumbohala. Okay. Um. Oh my God, mukha naman ako Dumbohala, Jan. Palitan mo nga. <laughs> that's a bad. That's a two. Okay. Oh my God, really? Okay. <laughs> Okay, Brett, the dum- Bohala means giant. giant. So basically, <laughs> what I said that you didn't like was um, the old woman in the barang in the what's barangay in English? Um, uh, like a municipality village. or village, yeah. Yep. Says that um, giants are great. Um, Bea, what did you say? I said, does this make me look like a giant? Mm. Yeah, and I said giant. 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 <laughs> giant. giant. <laughs> okay, easy. Di nyo alam kung ano yung giant. Wait, last na, last, last. Get ready. Oh my gosh, gonna... we forgot. We have, oh, we have no more words though. Okay. No, you have to say anything. You can say anything in Tagalog, but you have to wear a mask. That <laughs> is. <laughs> Okay, a mask. We're gonna flirt with our eyes. Okay. Yeah, you gotta flirt with your eyes, but you gotta say something. Mm. Do I have to wear one? No, no. We're we're flirt we're flirting with you, so you just you judge us. Oh yeah, you can wear one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> who's first? Cat, cat, you first. How do you do? How do you? What do we say? It say anything you want. This is a wild card. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my, back I my dance number. <laughs> I thought you weren't saying anything. Oh, we're gonna say something. Oh, no, you're, you're supposed to come up with your own. Just say one word, a Tagalog word, and be as seductive as you can. Oh, yeah. okay. Give me. I'm ready. Uh, okay, ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Nakakapagpabagabag. May hinga pa. <laughs> I don't know. With the mask, it seems also serious. So I'm going to go. It wasn't flirty. It was like a one. But I think you're all going to get one with the mask on, though. No, no, no. Let's try. Let's try. We're going to try. Keep going. <laughs> um... Sampagi. <laughs> Wait, Bea, stop laughing. 
Sampagita. Wow. Okay, now, now, now you made it. Okay, two then. Two. Thank you. Two. They are your turn. Okay, okay, okay. 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 How can I follow that? Wait. <laughs> okay, ready? Set, go. Gusto na kita makita. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> 1.5. <laughs> that's good, that's good. 5. Okay. Cara, come on, just a word. Seductive voice. Show us your sexiest. Wait, I have to find a ma- I have to find a mask first. Just cover your mouth. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> I'm challenging them a little. This is unexpected. Okay. Hold on. How do I? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ready. <laughs> hey. Alrighty. Um, kain tayo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <You're lying. laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's it. Kind of. Like two, two. Kara, we tied. Um. So, guys, the lesson of this game is our tone of voice and body language is very important. Thank you, Kara. Guys, everybody, say bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Fun game. Thank bye. you. Oh, okay. That was funny. That was pretty good. So, Brett, did you appreciate the Tagalog words? Does Tagalog sound sexy to you? It does, apes. <laughs> really? Yeah, you guys seem surprised. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was into... The Tagalog. The Tagalog words. Okay. <laughs> the Tagalog words. Okay. Like Dambuhala. Mm. Yeah. That one sounds like scary <laughs> and thrilling. Bibinka. <laughs> Isa. Turo. 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 Fishbowl. Fishbowl. And We're basically just enumerating street food. <laughs> <laughs> street food. Manglaris. Isa. <laughs> so the lesson, <laughs> guys, <laughs> tama na. <laughs> May mga nagko-comment na, na hindi na ka nais na is sa uh, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's get to the serious part. I think we're yeah, done yeah. with the puns. The point is you can use um, your eyes, you can use a mask, you can use your body language, you can use a lot of different things, different languages. But how do you pin down someone you've been flirting with for a long time? Mm. <laughs> Beyond, how do you lock it? Yeah. You want to go first, Brett, or am I going to go first? You stop flirting. And then, That's when the flirting stops. It's like you like you make that transition from flirting to just being open dialogue all the time and just like cut the shit. It's like you don't show signs or say things to convey a way you feel. You tell the way you feel and you show the way you feel now. That's like the I, I difference, like I think. That. I like that. I I like that. Oh, good. I want that. I, want that. I think <laughs> I think we spend we spend so much time trying to like 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 we are flirting and then we worry like what if they don't like me? But what if they do, bitch? Like you don't mm-hmm. know. You gotta you gotta try. So I I agree. Nah, if you wanna stop the flirt and like pounce, then just shoot your shot like what everyone is saying because the worst that can happen is they don't like you back now or ever but that's okay so you know that's what it is mm-hmm. but someone will promise promise yeah definitely sherry i know <laughs> I, I, honestly i never even thought about what brett said but that makes a lot of sense because Sometimes there's just a certain amount of game playing when it's always just flirting. And again, I'm not a, nobody's a big fan of games all the time. 
Yeah. So it's nice when it's actually nice when you can cut the flirting and get normal and not feel pressured to be ex like have that charm always on. Yeah, I like that. But you still them? you still keep flirting with them. Oh there, exactly what Therese said. Yeah, true. Their, their relationship begins when flirting ends, but important to continue flirting with your loved one. I absolutely agree. I agree hundred percent. I would love to flirt until I'm eighty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ideally just one person but you know never know yeah but it yeah but i think it what brett's saying like, you take away the pressure of the continuous flirting and it's just a natural banter and you just continue to keep each other you know killing you know yeah for sure killing what does that mean oh, oh. sorry brett killing means like um you get butterflies in your stomach and they're oh, that's nice yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how about yeah. you what do you think uh about sealing the deal i think it's just being more honest like probably your conversations are going from like shallow flirting to like more meaningful flirting you know like deeper and you both know each other a bit more so for example like brett you mentioned you like music um if the flirting becomes somehow around that and it's more in depth then it becomes like more meaningful i don't know i don't think you should ever stop flirting yeah yeah, that's yeah. Just, just change thing. your mindset of the flirting. Yeah, mm. agree. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Agreed. Okay. Agreed. Okay. We are all in agreement. Three stars. Three <laughs> stars. Okay, so guys, now that we've discussed the flirting, um, how to find their target, how to flirt, um, how to seal the deal. Let's give our viewers our conclusions. If you guys can give top three flirting tips, so they'll get like a playbook from us. We're, we're four, so that's 12 tips. And we give three tips each. So who wants to start? Um, let's go cats first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three I'm counting. Tips. Okay. So my first tip is this is just this is not just virtual, right? This is in general. Yeah, in like, general. Then right? the world is free again. The mm -hmm. Roman. So I think my flirt my flirt. My first is um make eye contact because mm -hmm. it shows that you are um you are paying attention to that person and you're trying to um get to know them. Like look at them. I know we have like looking at them is important and noticing them. My number two is um, be interested in what they're saying in, and, not, and not just focus on you trying to make them like you. I think that's, that's one of it because that's how the conversation will flow, right? Mm -hmm. And my third is um, up, no. like, know what you want. I think the third is about yourself, Naman. Know what you want because if you start flirting with somebody, and no matter how cute they are, if you don't, if you realize that they're they're just you're not the same wavelength, don't you don't have to push it, right? So know what you want and know that you can always stop flirting with anyone anytime. No pressure. So that's my three tips. Thank you. <laughs> I like. It. Okay, Brett. Um, I'm gonna have to say eye contact again. Um, but definitely, um, with eye contact, um, you know, use it, um, let your eyes do the talking because you're probably nervous and going to say some embarrassing things the first few minutes. So let your eyes do a little bit of the talking at the start before your mouth can catch up. Um, don't put anything out there that you're not, you know, you're not into. Um, you're not behind. Basically the same as what Kat said. Um, and um, have fun with it. Um, be playful. Um, if you don't seem like a fun person, even the most serious person probably wouldn't be into someone coming up to you and flirting, you know. Have fun with it. Be yourself. So, yeah, eye contact. Be yourself. And the other thing I said. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brett. Bea. Welcome. Okay. <clears throat> My top three tips from a non-expert here. Number one, 
be well read. It doesn't hurt to open the newspaper or read like I don't know, watch TV or just just know what's happening outside in the world and use that as a conversation anchor point. Number two, um, don't take life too seriously, as I think Brett kind of touched on that. If you're always got like a, got a stick up your ass, it's going to be hard to flirt with people. And yeah. lastly, always have a surprise in the box. You know? Just like, <laughs> there is, there what are these surprises? There is unsolicited <laughs> picture sender tendencies again. Always have a surprise. <laughs> I don't know, send a photo of a cheese wheel or something. I don't know. Be a surprise. Be a bundle of surprises. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Shari, what did you learn today? Mine would be, I think, smile. Um, smile. Oh, smile. Yeah, mm. I think having a nice smile is good. Um, listen. Like when Brett, like, when our game, Brett said that he likes it a more serious flirt. Immediately, we all adjusted our flirting techniques. So listening is important. Um, and I guess that shows that you're interested in who you're flirting with. And I guess my last tip is be selective with who it is that you're flirting with because that kind of makes your flirting more genuine instead of just having a generic flirt scheme for everybody. Mm. So... so yeah. Hopefully, that has helped all of you that feel really awkward about flirting. Just flirt, yeah. through, make mistakes. I think it's all okay. Right. Flirt left, flirt right. You know? <laughs> flirt, flirt, flirt. <laughs> flirt back. <laughs> bound, one is bound to just, you know, take a bite. Just, guys, that's, that's, that's the wrong advice. We just took that and we said, be selective of, with your flirting. Like, <laughs> that's the real lesson. But okay. have fun. But have fun. So guys, mm. anything more to add? Oh, um, no. no. I know. If you have something to add, guys, please follow us on Facebook. I on Facebook. Correction from the top. Follow us and subscribe on YouTube, guys. Because next episode will only be on YouTube, right, Bea? Yes. So, what's our topic for next week? This one's gonna be really interesting. Um, it's all about: Are you blind to red flags? I think Shari, you had a better title. What was it? Uh, red flags and when to wave the white flag. Yes, because oh, personally, I. Hmm. That's good title. Yeah. Thank you. See, rated three. I rated one again. So, okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Guys, next week is all about red flags. And then the next episode, it's... Should I announce it already or not yet? Yeah, maybe we'll get a good story. Oh, uh, this is good. It's oh. kitten kitten fishing and cat fishing. I had no idea what kitten fishing is. Basically, babe, so cat fishing is you lie about how you look. Kitten fishing is like when you have this different online persona that's just way different from your personality. So you... Wow. That's kitten fishing, and it's more. It's very oh, common, but it's still you. It's just yeah, that you're different online, it, and you're different you know the, the IG personalities and things like that. Yeah. Kitten. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm kind of scared about these two topics. They sound like a dark, dark place to be in. So that's it for really Wednesday Hump Day, and I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Always be thirsty. Okay. Always be thirsty to know, not the thirsty, the other definition of thirsty that I didn't or actually know. Be both. Why can't you be both? It's always yeah. fun. Be you can be both. Fun. Be thirsty in life. So thank yeah. you everybody for watching. I hope we're all better and more mindful flirts. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.